What's going on, guys? Malik. Welcome Malik. to the Coach Malik, Malik Show, Malik. and I am going to be your virtual coach. I'm going to give you the knowledge, the tips, and the advice to help you perform better in all aspects of your life. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the voiceover portion of this video or on the podcast, wherever you're consuming this. People always ask me, should I go heavyweight or lightweight, lightweight or heavyweight? And, you know, that's pretty much what I want to talk about today is like, it's not heavyweight, lightweight. It's about, you know, pushing yourself during that set. So I think you should do both. You know, I think you should do, if you can do heavyweight for a lot of reps, do that. That's going to be the best because not only are you going to get muscle endurance, you're going to get muscle strength. You know, the things that you want out of your weightlifting session. Now, that being aside, if you are specifically trying to gain strength and bench or gain strength in a certain specific area, then yes, maybe you're doing it a little differently. But all in all, if you're the average Joe or you're just starting your fitness journey or you're coming back from from, you know, years of not exercising and you're wondering, should I go heavyweight, low reps or lightweight, high rep? Don't think like that. All right. It's, it's all a spectrum. All right. It's all a spectrum. It's not black and white. Fitness is a spectrum and you got to figure out where you're at in that spectrum. For me personally, I like to go pretty heavyweight. It's not like I'm maxing out for three reps, but I'm doing pretty heavyweight for about eight reps, 12, 13, maximum 15. Sometimes I'll push 20 for doing arms or something. Try to get the pump. You know what I mean? Most of all, I'm going 8 to 12. This is going to make everything simple for you. Listen up real close. And I learned this, shout out to my older brother. He taught me this at a very young age and I've pretty much stuck with it ever since when I'm doing this type of program. Again, it all comes down to what your goal is. My mission is to get lean with a good amount of muscle. I don't want to just get lean and lose all my muscle. He always used to say this, if you can hit 12, it's too light. You could probably go up weight, maybe 5 pounds, 10 pounds, if you can hit 12, especially if you hit 13, 14 plus. Now, when you increase the weight, let's say you increase it too much. If you could hit only six and you can't hit eight, it's too heavy, all right? It's too heavy. You want to hit a weight where you're hitting eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, but the difficulty's high, your pain threshold's going, it's really hard to get those last couple reps. That's the weight you should be aiming for. I know I'm not speaking in high scientific terms and hit this percentage of your one rep max and all this stuff because it's not all black and white, all right? It's not all black and white. Figure out what works for you. Go ahead heavy, right? Push yourself. Let's say you usually grab 10 pound weights. You're doing lateral raises. Let's just go something simple. Lateral raises with the dumbbells, 10 pounds. And you're not really feeling anything. You're kind of looking around as you're doing your reps. If you're looking around while you're doing your reps, you can go up. All right. Just that's coach Malik tip number one. If you're looking around the gym and focusing on other things, other than your body, the weight, your muscles being used. If you're not focusing on only those things and you're looking around the gym, the weight is not heavy enough. So that start right there. Uh, I just see too many people at the gym, there's a little rant, that's just looking around while they're doing their set. And I'm like, pay attention. You know what I mean? Focus, focus, focus. Anyway, so eight to 12, that's what I recommend for you. If you're question on going heavy, question on going light, meet somewhere in the middle, push yourself. Again, do two more. That's what I always say, do two more. And know this, that your mind will always quit before your body can. Your mind will always say, slow down, stop, quit, before your body can actually stop, slow down, or quit. Your body's got more in the tank. Your body's got more in the tank. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that voiceover. That's all for today. Hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next voiceover clip.